toy review and for some reason this room is infinitely dimmer than it was a second ago hey everyone uh recording another video with dd and we are going to be reviewing the disney princess toddler ariel i think she's so adorable yeah, she's adorable we uh picked her up at family dollar for 20 bucks it's not too shabby and the artwork on the box is great. It's uh -huh. a part of your world scene. It's going to be good for future decoupage projects. Exactly. One thing I would like is it wasn't so asymmetrical. I like the asymmetry. I think it's a fun art style. Yeah, let's say you're ever opening baby dolls, always bring your scissors. Mm hmm. It's just always a lot of tape. But that's okay. I should have brought scissors on the last review I did. <laughs> okay, here we go. Sounds like a kid. But yeah, definitely need the scissors. Oh, <laughs> stars. You're getting this for your little girl for Christmas morning. I recommend going ahead and taking her out of the box and putting her next to the tree. Probably a smart idea. Save some frustration on a day that's already full of frustrating cleanup. It's so frustrating. It's fun. Just... Well, the cleanup itself is fun, but there's also <laughs> almost always a lot of it. You still want your little girl to have to wait to clear through your doll. Okay, you need to very, very carefully cut these things so you don't have to cut her hair. In case you're seeing chip canisters, no, we're not slobby. We just, uh, we're saving them for a project. Okay. Where else are you attached? Here we go. There's some rubber bands here at her feet. Okay. And She's cute. She is cute, isn't she? Uh -huh. Okay, then try to get this odd string that's attached to her hair. Okay, hopefully that's all. Hey, one thing you've got to really watch out for with pretty much any doll that has <laughs> hair is for some reason they've been uh, putting like plastic tabs attaching their heads to the back of the package. I don't think that's the case here though. Thankfully. So those are seriously oh, okay, but yeah, Her hair is kind of stuck in the package with this. Uh, See? Yeah, Christmas morning, open the doll first. Yeah, pre-unwrapped. <laughs> It's okay, that's fun anyway. It's an extra layer of magic. Okay, as I struggle to figure out how to open this toy. Okay. okay. <laughs> it's uh, a good shape. Okay, let's see. Need to cut this guy. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, you appear to have done so already. It's this part. They put that there so that their hair doesn't get messed mm -hmm. up. Yeah, it's weird plastic tabs. It's a little tricky to there get There she out. is. There we go. And and that's one side. On the other side. Very carefully so it's not to cut her hair. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, one thing that Mattel has over. Uh, Who made this thing? Um, I'm going to leave Jack Specific. One thing that Mattel's packaging had over uh, Jack's while their toy was less complicated to get into. Because, to be frank, it was a smaller toy with less, uh, less okay. hair. Just gotta rubber band. Packaging was a lot easier, a lot more user friendly. Okay, she's still stuck in the package somewhere and I can't quite figure it out. Probably on the back. Um, oh. I don't know. Let's see this weird plastic. Alright, let me see it for a second. <laughs> Ariel, we're trying. Yeah, that plastic okay. thing right there, it's just not. Sister, she can't. There we go. So you get up under it. And it helps your cause. Okay. Don't get the tape in her hair. That would be bad. That would be bad, yeah. Okay. Now let's try. She's being held in by another thread or something. I hear it stretching. Uh, there's another hidden rubber band here. Where is it? Right here. Ah! There we go. You finally almost almost, almost there. Over. There you go. Okay. okay. We're gonna get these parts off of her hair in a minute. She is yeah. so incredible. Super cute. adorable. These little cute shoes. Cute little shoes. Yeah. And a little tiara, and she's just ready to play and have lots and lots of fun. So I think this toy is definitely a five star toy. Mhm. Mm <laughs> I haven't been attributing stars to them. I just hadn't thought of it. I think going, it's a good toy. Yeah, maybe you could 
because you just needed a little movie magic. Maybe just. What's up with this? That holds your TR on. Okay. That's not going to hurt anything. You can take them off if you want, but it's a little bit trickier to keep your TR It'd on. It would probably be better that. just to probably leave them on that. there so that you're not always like the TR is flying off and your kid takes the right. doll to the store or something. That would be bad. Okay, and this is how you get these weird little plastic things off. Okay, mm -hmm. it's double. So you have to get in between here and then just pull it like that. Okay. She's probably going to need a hairbrush after that. Um, she doesn't come with one, I don't believe. They did a great cool. job with the eyes. They did. They even got yeah, the color hair. right. It's so pretty. And a standard regular hairbrush or even a Barbie hairbrush should work on her hair just fine. Hi. <laughs> She's super fun. I just want to play with her. Very cute. Well, thank you for watching our tour review. I hope you found it entertaining watching us up the box. <laughs> hope you all have a really super great day. Yep. Bye. Bye.